you know, as we find more comfort in our seated position, I encourage you to really come home into this body. As you breathe in and you breathe out. To allow the mind to open up a little more, feel free to grab an essential oil. If you've already used one, that's wonderful. If you wanna add a little more. We're really wanting to ground today so that oils can help you ground Deep breath in wherever you're at. Deep breath out. Breath in. Breath out. One more. And breath out. Just finding that wave of your breath. As you breathe in, the belly expands. And as you breathe out, the belly relaxes. Finding the connection to breath and body. Our sequence today is energetically a grounding sequence, as well as an active standing sequence to create strength. We're gonna to begin to allow the energy of groundedness, as well as the physical physiology of activation and strength, harmonize together, weave together to allow you to feel a little bit more of yourself when you step off of this experience today. I want you as you're breathing to tap into that groundedness, the groundedness you want to feel, the groundedness you're ready to activate. Feel yourself rooted safe in the ground you're sitting on. Now, with this energy in mind, bringing hands together, thumbs rest against sternum, setting an intention for your yoga practice today. It can be a word that helps you stay present or focus on how you would like to feel after class so that you can take that feeling off of your experience into the rest of your day, into your world. We're going to seal all of our intentions together with a full round of breath as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, head moves towards the hands, allowing the mind and the heart to honor and acknowledge this intention. Chin to chest, hands relaxed down. Let's begin some gentle neck rolls. You can either do a full neck roll with the length of the neck, staying long in the back, or if your neck bothers you, you can roll ear to shoulder, down and ear to shoulder. Again, just find whatever supports you. The eyes can be closed or open. We're just opening up our neck for a moment. We're gonna just warm up our body before we create some strength in the standing sequence. Right, if you're doing full circles, next time chins to chest, you're just gonna reverse that direction. And next time, chin is to chest for everyone pausing. Inhale, squeeze shoulders up to ears. Exhale, shoulders back and down. Stack head on shoulders and open eyes. If your legs are crossed, you're just gonna change the cross of your legs. And we're gonna do three sun breaths. So inhale, reach the arms up, palms touch. And then exhale, heart center. Inhale, reaching on up. And exhale, heart center. One more, reach up. And exhale, heart center. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, side stretch to the right. Now allow this bottom shoulder to relax. Sit bones stay rooted. Take some nice deep breaths here as you breathe in. And you breathe out. Feel the side stretch. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more. And exhale. 
Inhale, reach up and exhale to the other side. And again, some nice deep breaths here. Watch your bottom shoulder. Nice breaths. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breath in. Breath out. One more. And exhale. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, twist to the right. And just for a moment, take some nice deep breaths here. Feel grounded in your twist. Feel inhale, lengthening and exhale. Feel the twist. Nice deep breaths. And unravel. Inhale, rise. Exhale, twist to the other side. Again, take some nice deep breaths here in this twist. And unravel. All right, we're going to set any props we have aside, and we're going to move through just some cat cows to get our body active and ready for our standing sequence. Shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. You want to spread your fingers nice and wide. And we're going to begin to have that active yogi hand. So with the fingers spread wide, you want to grip the fingertips and gently push the knuckles down. Not aggressively. We don't want space under our hands when we're in our yoga position. So if that ever bothers you, just you can always try out a soft fist. All right, cat cows. Inhale, tailbone shines up, belly to mat, gaze up. And then exhale, tuck this tail. Squeeze and reverberate into a couch. Inhale, flows you through into cow. Exhale into cat. Just begin to work into cat and cow. Start to feel each vertebra really moving here in between each little movement. Finding that flow of breath in and out. All right, one more time. And so the next time you find your way into cat arch, you're gonna come on back to a neutral spine. Now we're gonna get our lower core nice and active to support our standing sequence. So we're gonna take our right foot out. I want you to tuck the toes under. And then I want you to begin to just pulse. What we're doing here is we're just waking up the back of that leg. Now, as you're here, you want to feel activated. I almost like to tell uh, women, imagine you have your bra strap on one, two, tight. Nice activated rhomboids. Those are the in-between shoulder blades muscles. You want to also begin to feel long and strong here. So front ribs hug in, zip up your lower core. Long and strong. With that activation, lift that right leg up. Hip height. Now this might be where you stay to advance it. You're gonna take your opposite arm, so your left arm, shoulder height, thumb faces up. This might be where you stay and balance here. <laughs> if you wanna move, we're gonna move. Take a nice deep breath in and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Long and strong here, inhale, exhale. Breath in, breath out, one more. And exhale, coming on back, neutral spine. Again, you can have active yogi hands, or as I'm showing today, soft fists. Take the left leg out now and just pulse for a moment as you wake it up. Now here's where you find that activation. Zip up, hug in, long and strong. Almost like you have an imaginary corset wrapped right around your torso. Rhomboids are nice and active in your back. And then lift that leg up, zip up. Right arm can come out, thumb faces up. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap. Two more. Lift up. And tap down. Lift up. Tap it down. One more. And tap it down. And then find your way. Neutral spine. All right, puppy dog. So tuck the toes under. Seat to feet. You're going to extend the arms nice and long. And then for a moment, rest the forehead down as your hands are active and your arms are lifted. So you can have active hands or even tent your fingers. Puppy dog is a modification for down dog. We're gonna be finding our way to down dog as we flow through our sequence. 
as well as a very active sequence today. If you ever need a rest, but you want this nice shoulder stretch, puppy dog is an option. If you ever need a deeper surrender rest, you just fully let the arms relax, untuck the toes, and seat come to feet, and now you are in child's pose. Remembering today, we're gonna follow the well-being of our body over our ego. With that in mind, plant those hands, gaze forward and just begin to slither your way through. Shoulders are gonna come over wrist, tuck the toes under, hips move up and back, downward facing dog. And then just begin to pedal your dog, one leg and then the other. You wanna have active hands here. Feet should be at least hip socket width apart. They can be wider if your hands need it. And then you should be gazing somewhere around your upper thighs. We wanna let that neck be fully relaxed for our sequence today. And coming into stillness, we're going to take a nice deep side breath. Inhale. <sighs> Let it all go. Little bend of the knees, walk the feet to meet the hands. Little bend still to protect those hammies. Spread your toes as you round up one vertebra at a time. Feel the spine stack all the way up. Shoulders relax and you're in mountain pose. Inhale, arms rise, exhale, heart center. Inhale, rise, clasp your right wrist, exhale, side stretch. Inhale, rise, reverse your clasp, and side stretch. Inhale, rise, and exhale, fold forward. And do three rounds of a uh, sun salute. Inhale, straight spine, gaze forward, exhale, fold. Bend the knees, plant the hands, downward dog. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you let it out, you come onto the knees. Untuck the toes, shoulders are over. Wrist, squeeze those shoulder blades, take a nice deep breath in, exhale, lower down, elbows hug in, inhale, reach out and up, baby cobra, feel the pelvis rooted, lower down, down dog, watch your elbows, deep breath in, and out, now walk the feet to meet the hands, inhale, straight spine, exhale, full, now if you like rounding up or you have low blood pressure, I encourage that, if not, Inhale, rise to stand as arms reach. And exhale, wherever you're at, our arms and our hands come to meet at that heart center. Inhale, rise, clasp your right wrist, exhale, side stretch. Inhale, rise, reverse the clasp, exhale, side stretch. Inhale, rise, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, straight spine, exhale, fold. Bend the knees, plant the hands, down dog. Nice deep breath in. Ah, deep breath out, come to knee plank, squeeze here. Now this might be where you want to stay, to activate it, come to full plank, but watch this tushy. Doesn't go up or down, long straight spine. Those of you in knee plank, begin to lower. Those of us in full plank, roll forward on your toes, chaturanga, lower down. Inhale, reach out and up, or push into the hands, pelvis is still rooted. Find your cobra, feel your triceps spiring. Wherever you're at, lower. Down dog, nice deep breath in, <sighs> let it go. Walk the feet to meet the hands. Inhale, straight spine, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, and exhale, heart. Now as we speed up, you can find the pace that supports your body, whatever that is for you. Inhale, rise, clasp right, exhale, side stretch. Inhale, rise, reverse clasp, exhale, side stretch. Inhale, rise, exhale, fold forward. Our last side salute before our standing. Inhale, straight spine. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, plant the hands, step back. Nice deep breath in. Ah, and then knee plank or full plank, your preference. Roll forward, lower. Reach out and up, or coming on up, all the way up dog. Lift the legs up, toenails push into the floor. Wherever you're at, find your core. Coming on back, down dog. Nice deep breath in. <sighs> nice deep breath out. Inhale, right leg extends behind you. This might be where you stay. You can just bring the knee in or squeeze everything. Little cat arch drops your shoulders forward. Inhale, find on the exhale what serves you. One more. Exhale. Inhale, extend. Look forward and now try and bring this right foot forward. If that doesn't work, remember my rhyme. Bring it down, swing it around. All right, back heel comes down. Heel, heel, alignment. Use your core, zip up. Coming on up, warrior one. 
You should be able to see your big toe, square your shoulders. Now you have heart center or full expression, your, your preference here. To make this practice more vigorous, you're going to bring your standing legs wider. To make this practice less vigorous, bring them closer. Those of you with knee issues, I recommend closer, but never take your knee past your ankle. So it's either over or behind your ankle. Nice deep breath in here. And then exhale, lower, step back, down dog. Nice deep breath in. <sighs> nice deep breath out. Inhale, left leg now. And then exhale, stay here. Bring it in or squeeze it all in, rock forward. Inhale, exhale, one more. Exhale, inhale, extend back, gaze forward. Exhale, sweep it through. Remember to bring it down, swing it around, ride if you need it. Heel, heel. Rise up, use the core. Finding your grounding up of your standing sequence and then arms up or heart. Nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. Zip up your core. Inhale. Exhale. One more. And exhale. Plant. Step back, down dog. Take a nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. Now stay here in down dog or roll forward in the plank and low. Inhale, your preferred back bend. Exhale, brings you on back. Nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. Inhale, right leg again. And then exhale, find what supports you. Inhale back and exhale. Inhale back. Exhale. Inhale back. And then exhale, sweep it forward. Again, heel, heel, alignment. Rising on up. Nice deep breath in and deep breath out. Now arms are going to come to a T as you take your left under your right. You're going to give yourself a nice little hug, trying not to move the lower limbs. Now you can either stay here or if your body allows you to bring the forearms together or most advanced is palms together. The hug is what we need first because we can't have our elbow and our form here. It needs to be all the way together. So finding a version that supports your body, finding your eagle arms here, warrior one legs. Pull the shoulder blades down, lift the elbows. Breath in, breath out. If you want a little back bend, you reach up and over. Don't crunch your low back. Breath in, breath out. One more. And then exhale, unravel, plant, down dog. Take a nice deep breath in. <sighs> Inhale, left. And then exhale, find your preference. Inhale and exhale. Remember, you can always rest if you need to. Exhale, inhale, exhale forward. Heel, heel alignment, warrior one. Nice deep breath in. And then arms come to a T. Now we want right under left. Again, you can just hug or you can find the versions of eagle. Nice deep breath in and out. Little back bend if you want, reaching up and over. Inhale, exhale, zip up that lower core. Exhale, one more. Exhale, plant, step back. Nice deep breath in. <sighs> nice deep breath out. Walking the feet now to meet the hands. Inhale, straight spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rising all the way up. And exhale, heart center. Inhale, arms rise, clasp your right, exhale. Inhale, rise, reverse your clasp, exhale. Inhale, rise, now hands to hips, we're gonna sit down into our chair pose. So as you sit down, you wanna zip up your lower core. Knees don't go past your toes, zip on up. Hands can come to heart or full expression as you take a nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out, zip it up, breath in. Breath out, one more, and then exhale, standing on up, and hands come to your hips. Now, two options here. If you have knee issues, I want you to just slowly step back. We're gonna keep that back heel lifted. If you don't have knee issues, come to chair, and just try and step it back. So we're coming into high lunge, back heel is lifted. We can still see our big toe. Remember, wider you go, the more intensive the practice. Now find your way to the warrior arms, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, and exhale, one more. 
and then exhale, you're gonna come on forward to your front thigh. Now, if you need a rest now, or your knee's bothering you, you're gonna lower down onto your knee. If you wanna stay active, you're gonna stay on up. What we're doing here is we're gonna bring our left hand to our hip. We're gonna inhale our right, and then exhale, it's gonna come on over to our top thigh. I'll show you what it looks like in the lower knee position, or raising up. Find what supports you. Now, pull this left hip back, push this left big toe down, you can bring your hands together if you want. Little twist, nice deep breath in. And out, use your core, inhale. Exhale, one more. And then exhale, wherever you're at, you're gonna step back, downward dog. Take a nice deep breath in. And let it go. Either stay here or roll forward for a little flow. Remember, use the core. Even when the body starts to get fatigued, activate the core more. Nice deep breath in. Ah, nice deep breath out. Walk the feet to meet the hands. Inhale, straight spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rising up. And exhale. And now, coming into chair position. Nice deep breath in. Zip up. Nice deep breath out. Breath in. And breath out. One more. And now, exhale, you can stand up. Hands to hips as you step back. Or... Plant the right foot, step the left. High lunge. Find your grounding. So from the ground up, zip up. Nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. Feel the core here, zip up. Hug in. Exhale. One more like this. And then exhale, come to your knee. Now, this might be where you wanna lower your knee. If not, stay risen. All of us, right hand to hip. Inhale left. Reach up, 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 and over, up, 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 and over. Now this might be where you stay. Pull this hip back, push this big toe down. You can come to prayer with the hands. Nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. Inhale. Exhale. One more. And then exhale. Everybody down dog. Take a nice deep breath in. And let it go. And now if you want to come on forward, for one more, finding your way eventually down dog. <sighs> Let it all go. Walking feet to meet hands. Inhale, straight spine. Exhale, fold. And from here, you're going to allow the hands here to plant, or you can come to a soft fist. We're going to root onto our left leg, and we're going to begin to extend our weight leg up. We're coming into standing split. Now, in standing split, you can open your hip. I find it too. Get more activation if you keep your hips closed. You keep them in alignment and flex that right foot. You can point it if you want to, I like to flex. Left big toe pushes down. Find your grounding, find your focal point. You might wanna play around with balance now. See if you can take your left hand behind your left calf. Ooh, can you do your right? Ooh. Activate the core. Take any tension out of your face, bring it to your core. Playing with the balance here. Nice deep breath in, deep breath out, one more. And then everybody plant, and you're gonna step this foot back. You're gonna spin the heel down, but now we want front heel, back arch alignment as we cartwheel open. We are in warrior two now. Nice deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, flip the front palm and exhale, reverse. Hand can rest here or wrap around your low back. Nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. One more. And then coming on side angle. Forearm on thigh. Arm can come up or over. If you have shoulder issues, bring it on down. If you want to come on down more, push that arm into inner thigh. Inner thigh into arm. Feel free. Nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. One more. And exhale. Now root your core, rise on up, and straighten both legs. Now those of you that are new to triangle, right hand comes to hip. Left goes as far as it'll go, and then it finds somewhere on your leg where this hip didn't sink down. We want nice alignment in our hips, one hip stacked on the other. This might be where you stay. If you want to lift the arm up, that's wonderful. We have a straight, beautiful line here. And gaze wherever supports your body. So if looking up doesn't feel good for your neck, Look wherever it does. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Breath in. And breath 
One more. And breath out. No hand to hip. Inhale, rise. And then from here, we are going to take our left knee and bend it again. Warrior two. Take a nice deep breath in. And then exhale. Plant those hands. Step back. Nice deep breath in. And let it go. Walking now the feet back. And from here, inhale, straight spine. Exhale, fold. Root that right foot now. Standing split on the other side. So right foot roots down. Keep those lower abdominals, front ribs hugged in. Activation here. Now see if you can balance a little. Right hand to your calf here. See if the left will go. Easy breath. Easy mind. Easy pose. One more breath in. And then exhale. Plant your hands. Now step back. We want back arch, front heel alignment as we cut real open. Warrior two on this side. All right, inhale, flip the front palm, exhale, reverse. You can wrap around, nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. One more. And exhale. Coming to side angle. Remember, arm can come up and over, all the way up, or hand to hip. If you want to lower down even more, push arm into thigh, thigh into arm. Side angle, nice deep breath in, and out. One more, and out. Use your core, inhale, rise, and straighten. If you like the hand to hip, find it there. Stretch the right as far as it'll go, breath in. And then coming on down, triangle. Remember, stack hips, hand can come up. Nice breath in, nice breath out. Breath in, and breath out. One more. And breath out. Activate your core. Inhale, rise. Find your way. Coming into warrior two. All right, now we're going to straighten both legs. We're going to bring our feet nice and straight. From here, I'm going to show you how to come on down to a fold from the back side so you can see how my hips don't tweak. Nice straight. Inhale, puff your chest. And the next time you hinge. You hinge, you hinge forward and coming on down. Once you come down, plant your hands here or you can allow the elbows to lower. What you want to do is sit bones right here. You want to feel like they're coming on up to the ceiling. You want to feel your weight coming more forward into your toes. Nice deep breaths. We're going to take some three of a let go breath as I show you now the fold from the front side. All right, as we do this breath, we're going to imagine the let go breath. So as you breathe in, imagine the word let, accumulating any energy that does not serve you physically, mentally, emotionally. And then on the word go, we're going to let it go, dumping out the crown of our head right into the floor. Here we go. Inhale, let, exhale, go. <sighs> Inhale, let, <sighs> go. Inhale, and go. One more, inhale, and go. Shake your head out, yes or no. All right, and from here, we're gonna bring our self to face the front again. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna come back up onto your front heel, and you're going to flex your left foot. You're gonna bring your hands down. If this does not serve you, and doing a standing stretch here by stretching this left leg, then I encourage you to do the modification coming to seated pose and just slowly stretch over the leg, watching your body. Don't jot around, long body here. To do the stretch in a standing sequence, we're on our back toes and we're on our left heel. Nice deep breaths here. Now if you have yoga blocks or things to give you height, there's always that option in yoga. I wanted to show you a modification in case you don't have props. Nice deep breath. All right, you're gonna plant that foot and we're just gonna slowly transition to the other side. Again, back heels are up, it's front foot. Come and flex, give that right leg a nice juicy stretch. Now again, if you're in a seated pose, you're just gonna go to the other side. Some nice deep breaths there. I'll show you again what that looks like. 
stretching. Remember, watch this long spine here. Those in standing, deep breaths. Feel the connection of the body. Feel the body surrendering, the body letting go. All right, and plant down. Now, if you are in a standing sequence, I'm going to have you find your way back to the midline. You're going to heel toe and just allow yourself to come on down to a seat. Now, all of us are going to bring both of our legs out in a staff position. Inhale, reach up, and exhale, you're going to hinge forward. Now, keep this spine long here. You can reach for the feet. I'll show you from the side view, only if you don't jump or round there. Nice deep breath. Breath in. Breath out. Really focus on the breath. This is the majority of a standing sequence, so we want to use our breath to calm our mind. Use our breath to calm our body. And one more. And then coming on up. If you have that yoga oil that you want to use for Shavasana, feel free to grab it. You're going to grab behind your legs and begin to lower all the way down onto your back. Now, once you're on your back, I want you to hug your knees in and just rock a little. All right. And we're going to come to happy baby. So soles of the feet face up. Grab either behind your thighs or the outsides of your feet and let the body surrender. Nice deep breaths. You can rock your baby a little. And again, we're going to bring in that let go breath to prep us for Shavasana. So as you breathe in, imagine the word let. And as you breathe out, the word go. Letting it all go. So coming to stillness. Inhale, let. Exhale, go. Inhale, let. And go. One more. And go. Hug those knees in. Just rock a little. Allow the knees to fall to the right. Arms open up to a T. Or right arm rests on thigh. And the left arm is in a cactus position. Nice deep breath. You can even keep the let go breath here. All right, coming on back up, and then move to the other side. Nice deep breaths. And then coming on up, squeeze it in, and then allow the body to relax out, Shavasana. If you have the oil for Shavasana, feel free to grab it. Again, this is the Anchor Blend that I use in my yoga kit. Nice deep breath in wherever you're at. And as you exhale, gently pull the ears down. Allow the body to relax. Inhale. Exhale. One more. And then exhale. Arms come by your sides. Palms face up. And just for a moment, breathe here. Nice deep breaths. Now, just allow the breath to deepen. Begin to wiggle fingers and toes, rolling wrists and ankles. When you're ready, inhale, extend the arms up above the head, long stretch. Exhale, let the knees or the chest gently rock from side to side. And then roll over to either side in fetal pose. For just one more moment, surrendering into the floor. Even with the eyes closed, use the hands, push into the floor, keep your neck relaxed. Find your way back to an easy seated pose. With the eyes closed and hands coming to heart center, recommitting to your intention. 
as you take a nice deep breath in and exhale head moves towards the hands allowing the mind to acknowledge the heart and the heart the mind thanking yourself for your practice today may you all be happy healthy and live with ease as always the goodness in me honors and acknowledges the goodness in you which is namaste slowly coming on up and out opening the eyes i have my citrus blend arise and my yoga kit what i'm going to do is also do a little meridian tapping here to wake up my legs because we do a lot of leg sequence so bringing the hands to the nose inhale and exhale tapping on down the outsides of the legs and then breath in and then tapping on up the insides of the legs. And then breath in. And then exhale, tapping the glutes. And then right here, empty spots, a nice love. Pause your feet. And we are complete. I hope you enjoyed our active standing sequence today and you feel more grounded and you feel more strong. If you're ever wanting more information about Tracy's Total Wellness and the different ways I hold sacred space for women to come back home to their bodies all the way to their souls, don't hesitate to check more information out and I'm more than happy to support you, whether it's a one-on-one -on -one basis or in some of my events or group settings. Don't hesitate also to ask any questions about our sequence today. I'm more than happy to support you.